With the abundance of education platforms in the field of design and digital art and the large number of online education and social networking sites, it has become easy to learn and master any program and even use it for producing content or working on projects, especially if we talk about Photoshop, which has multiple dedicated websites and YouTube channels built around it as it has become more and more popular. These sites contain a lot of lessons paid and even for free which made it very easy for everyone to start learning Photoshop, especially if they are complete beginners who want to work on their personal projects using this program. In addition to the availability of many educational lessons, Adobe has become interested and invested in making Photoshop easier by providing easy to use tools and shortcuts for those who don't want to waste a lot of time and energy when working on their creative projects. Photoshop has reached a certain degree when it comes to ease of use when working using it, but it still takes practice for a certain period of time and this is certainly a normal requirement for any beginner trying to learn any program, whatever its type or scope. In addition to this, we can think of Photoshop as a language and each language has a special vocabulary and grammar that we have to get used to it through practice and repetition. Photoshop became easier to learn recently because it has many resources, whether it be online, through blogs and websites, or even through paper books or PDFs. And all of this can be useful in order to reduce the burden of individuals trying to learn this program on their own. Also, we can never ignore the difficulty of working using Photoshop when it comes to the more realistic and more complex artistic fields like digital painting, for illustrations and concept art because it generally speaking depends on the user for the most part. But overall it is like the rest of Adobe's programs as well as the image editing programs and the 2D design programs of the other companies competing with Photoshop that has complex tools for technical purposes that can be difficult to use while working on creative projects. But to be honest, there isn't a reason to find learning a software such as Photoshop difficult, especially with all the knowledge we have today. From videos, books, and courses that can help beginners and professionals work on their 2D projects the right way because they are taught by experienced artists and they are supported by practical and theoretical examples that can be considered of excellent quality. The truth is there aren't any professional artists right now who started as professionals and became stars in their positions instantly because everyone started from scratch and became great in their industry or creative career after so many years of practice and going through the process of trial and error. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.